She was crying yesterday. All right. If we're going to do an inelastic collision, let's choose some appropriate things to collide. What do you want to collide together? I'll give you the masses, okay? Planets. Did you honestly say cheese? Yes, I did. Oh, right. You have cheese on the side. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got a we got a nomination for oh my gosh no we got to be appropriate about the masses. I want a two kilogram mass and a two point five kilogram mass. What could these be? No, we're not doing babies. My goodness, you you horrible person. Dogs. No, come on. Be realistic. Be realistic. Cheese. 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 All right. What type of cheese do you want the first cheese to be? Cheddar. Cheddar is mundane. Let's get a more exotic cheese for the second one. Gargonzola. How do you spell it? Okay, gorgonzola. So we're going to collide some gorgonzola and some cheddar and see what happens. Here's the, the other information I want to give you. VA is going to be equal to um, 2.3 meters per second. And VB is going to be equal to 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay. Now I want these guys to be going. Uh, what? Actually, I should say let's let's make V A be going to the right, and let's make V B going to the left. So let's collide these two cheeses with one another. Okay, throwing them against each other in midair. Yeah. Yeah, but then you got to figure out air resistance and gravity, and it's just not going to be a good situation. Okay, in outer space then. In zero G. So if the cheeses stick together, the cheeses are going to stick together together when they collide. Find their final velocity. And we're going to use conservation of momentum. So even if this is an inelastic collision, momentum is going to be conserved. That's the, that's the law. Okay. So P is equal to P primed. And I can say MAVA plus MBVB. So I should call this part A of the problem. MBVB is equal to MAVA primed plus MB, VB primed. Now, if these guys stick together, what could I do to, to simplify the right hand side here? MA plus MB in brackets times V. Yeah. MA plus MB times just V primed. And I want to find the, the uh, final velocity of the Cheddar Gargonzola system. So what do I have to do next? Divide by the brackets. Yeah, divide by the bri binomial. Oh, we have to consider negatives, don't we? Yep. Can we define a direction as positive? Yeah, we will. We okay. Let's do left as weight, right as positive since it's a bigger back there's the bigger magnitude. Sounds good to me. So let's define that right now. If we've got these two cheeses going towards each other, I'll put them in red wrappers. And we're going to call it to the right positive. All right, so we've got our V primed. 
equal to, and we'll start plugging in our values. MA was two kilograms. VA was 2.3 meters per second. We're, we've defined it as being positive. MB was equal to 2.5 kilograms. But VB was negative 0.5 because it was going to the left. So that's important. And then the denominator, MA plus MB would be 2 kilograms plus 2.5 kilograms. Oh, and I haven't done a good service to the sig figs here. Let's, uh, let's pretend that I was thinking and had my head screwed on right at the beginning. Let's make that 2.0 kilograms to allow us to have two sig figs. Oopsie. Has anybody simplified this one already? Mike's trying to do it in his head. I, I admire it. In my head, I did 3.35 or 4.5, but I can't go any farther than that, and I don't know if it's right. Uh, I'm not sure if it is. Anybody got it on the calculator? What's that? 1.3? Negative 1.3? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my own calculator. It's 0 0.67. 0 0.67. Oh, there's so many answers on the table here. 0 0.74. 0 0.74. That sounds about right, with the negative signs included. Yeah. 0 0.74 meters per second, and it's a positive 0 0.74, so 0 0.74 meters yeah, per second. Good. Thank goodness. I think. Yeah, I think the 1.3 would be without the negative sign. Yeah. Okay, so 0 0.74 meters per second, that is the final velocity of this cheese system. Perfect. What could a part B be? Find the energy loss. Yeah, find the energy loss. Let's find the energy loss, just for kicks and giggles, okay? Just for kicks and giggles. Let's find the, the energy loss of the colliding cheese system. That's the cleaned up version of the expression. All right, find the energy loss for the cheesy system. <laughs> and I'm going to be writing out the formula, but I do need your help with the calculators, okay? Alright, so if I take EKA prime and EKB prime over to the left-hand side of the equal sign, I'm left with E lost on the right, and negatives for the EKA and EKB primed. So we can start plugging in our values here. It's going to start to get messy in a hurry. It's starting to get to be a big equation. I'm going to need some help some, from some people in a minute. Now for the 1 half MA VA prime squared minus 1 half MB VB prime squared, if they stick together, could I just do 1 half 
MA plus MB times V prime squared? Okay, good. Well, it, it actually is negative, but when you square a negative, it becomes positive anyway. So I didn't want to mess you up. But. And we found the VB primed previously to be 0 0.74 meters per second. Four point three seven oh five. Oh four. Oh four. Oh, it doesn't. It rounds out in the C fit. Four point three seven approximately joules. So we end up losing about four point three seven joules in the end. Does the motion carry? Motion carries. Motion carries. It's unanimous. Okay.